Quick and Dirty is a new series I'm starting to quickly inform you guys of my predictions to changes in the meta of EFT and also changes in the upcoming wipes meta as a result of the 12.8 patch. In this video we're going to look into some of the new armors added into the game and changes to armor destructibility. I hope you guys enjoy the video. First let's discuss armor destructibility. What you need to know is that destructibility is a hidden armor stat in the game that determines how much less damage a round will deal to an armor's durability stat. If you want a more detailed explanation of armors and destructibility, I will link a very well done video by Gigabeef in the description below. So here is the old values of the armor material destructibility stats, right? And again, this stat is just reflecting how much damage the armor would receive. Um, so for example, glass here, it can receive 80% of that damage to the material, to the armor, right? And Aramid, it's only going to receive 25% of the damage to that armor. Okay, go so far. And here, we have the 12.8 stats. And I'm also showing the percentages change from the previous version. So, for example, Aramid, it gained 5% uh, less damage dealt to the armor, right? Combined materials went from 5, 50% damage to 40%. So now it is more durable by 10%, okay? What's important here is combined materials is actually used in a lot of helmets and it's also used in the class 5 face shields for the Alton and the new wrist 5 helmet so this is significant in my opinion um there's some other smaller changes here like steel got above ceramic got above um it's still gonna break down relatively fast fast but uh it's an improvement from before right because it's gaining 10 percent damage reduction or durability destruction we could say titan and ultra lightweight polyethylene got a small buff aluminum and glass did not change at all so what's our takeaways from this your armors should take less damage in terms of durability overall compared to the previous patch potentially this will mean that rounds that are not armor piercing rounds will take more bullets to wear down that armor to a point where that round will penetrate the armor. All right, next, let's talk about the new class five armor. This is a, let's say class five, 45 max durability, um, and it's made of armor steel. You unlock this through prep or level three, uh, which is pretty cool. However, should be noted that you only need level 22 and X amount of trader rep. I don't know what that is, but generally speaking, I feel like this is pretty reasonable to obtain. In other words, it's not going to be that hard to reach this um, once you start grinding. People have compared this to the Gazelle, right? However, Ragman has higher level requirements. I want to say level three Ragman is 30. Um, and this Rubles purchase is locked behind a quest, right? So you have to do a certain quest line and complete that quest. I don't know which one it is off the top of my head, but you can barter for it. Um, so depending on the pricing of the barter items, it might be worth it, might not be. Uh, in my opinion, this one is just superior. Yes, it does have some pretty significant penalties, right? In comparison to the Gazelle. However, this is made of armor steel and it's going to repair better and break down slightly uh, less than the ceramic armor. Um, so if you were to get both of these insurance, this one you could probably use again, whereas this one Depending on how bad it's broken up, or if it's not broken up enough, you might not be able to repair it and use it at all. So, I suspect this armor will become very meta in the uh, next wipe.
All right, lastly, let's talk about the Rizzo T helmet. Yes, I know my stash is a mess. Um, this helmet is really good. Uh, right now, I do believe you can only buy it from Ragman. Oops. Try it again. Yep. Um, however, I think the face shield you can get in raid. I see a lot that are 100%. So, the barter is going to be expensive, um, and it currently is expensive. I think I pay like half a mil for this helmet. Why is it so good? So, let's look at it. Same stats, right? It has a little bit more durability, five more durability. Um, and the material is slightly better. So instead of an armor steel helmet, this one's made of titanium. Basically means it breaks down slower and possibly repairs better. I'm not too sure about that. However, what's really significant here is the penalties. Change of movement speed. We're going from negative 7 to negative 3. Change in turning speed. Negative 17 to negative 8. That's like 50% reduction. Uh, ergonomics, negative 6 to negative 4. This is huge because a lot of people don't like the Alton or they just don't run it often because it's really annoying to adjust your mouse sensitivity. Now it's not such a huge, huge penalty, right? Uh, also, the visors or the face shields, similar story here, right? A little bit less on the penalty side. Um, and it has an extra five durability point. So I think once you reach max trader level Ragman, uh, you will probably see this will probably be your ideal helmet uh, just solely because you do not have to deal with this huge 70% turn speed reduction. Also, uh, this helmet is, I believe, found in raid only. I'm going to just double check because they're constantly changing the game. Yeah, uh, we'll switch to traders. Okay, remove bartering offers. Okay, we're good. So, it's coming down in price. Um, however, I just don't think it's worth it because, yes, it's a class 4 helmet. Yeah, it has 50 durability. However, when you look at the attachments you can put on it, right, you can put this class 2 mandible and you can put this class 2, uh, what is this, visor? And you can put this class four headpiece. I don't know. Nape protection. I don't know what this thing is. Whatever. It's not worth the money you're putting in, right? I mean, look at this. Like 60k rubles, uh, another 30k rubles, uh, another, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's so expensive for a class two head eyes protection and then an extra or like just just go with the the bastion or an alton or even a, a an exfil so this helmet not so great thank you for watching have a great day